So, um, so with you, when you got that time, bro, you said that was your first adult bid. Like, they gave you a lot of time for that to be your first bid on robbery. Niggas get six to 30, you get six years on your first bid. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, what was that they first off and you just took it? Or like, how did that work for you? See, I was trying to all rob with a firearm. Okay. On um, both. I got caught with my blick. A blick that wasn't related to my case. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. They gave me the gun enhancement. Oh, okay. So, that's 21 to 45 years. Okay. So, what you had a Super X instead of a 6 to 30? Nah, just a class ass fella. Oh, right, right. They just gave me the gun in here. When they give you the gun in here, that's 21 to 45 years. Right, right. In the beginning, it was 6 to 30. Right. Then they enhanced it, right? Yeah, they right. enhanced it. Because yeah. of the gun enhancement. Yeah, made the church. 15 charm. years, gun enhancement, yeah. yeah. We was talking about you doing a little stretch and how the, the justice system is, you know, not in the favor of us as, you know, being brown and black people, you know, in America, or whatever. So now, after you did that little stretch, bro, like, what's your biggest lesson that you came home with that um that stuck with you as, like, all right, I'm moving like this now? Time. Hmm. Time is everything. Don't be moving, just be moving. Like, pace yourself. And that's exactly what I be doing. Hmm. For sure. So, you know, another guy... Now nah, we don't got to speak on him specifically, but it's just both of y'all came home around the same time, but not too far apart. Both of y'all did like 10 years, a decade or so, and y'all both left early when the drill scene first hit. You and a guy from Welch Road named Tay Savage. Now, like I said, we ain't going to speak on him too much, but I want to get this point of view if you could. So when you came home, you had more of a... Your, you, you was more turned up. You was more... You, you was dissing and, and shit like that. But he, he came on some Islam shit in, in a sense. That's what I seen from him. It's like it seemed like he trying to, he going a different route than you. Now, hear me out. This is the whole question. Now, after doing 10 years, you know how you could do one year and stuff will change in life. So you did 10 years. Um, do you feel like um, when you came home and put, your, put, put that type of energy out there, do you feel like, because you already got a face, people already, you already, you know, was street famous, people know who you is. But it's like, do you feel like that put a target on you when you bring that energy or you ain't really give a fuck? Like, how, I just want to hear your point of view of it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, bro. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how they think, how they feel, what they expect. I'm not switching. Mm. I'm not changing for nobody. Um, bro, mm. I'm me. I'm doing me. If you gonna judge, you can suck a dick, but it ain't gonna be mad. On fast. <laughs> Fuck you tomorrow. <laughs> for sure that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this guy wild, all right. For sure yeah. that one boy. Hey, so but look though, so you so what about um so like I say a whole ten years, so it'd be like sure there's like seven when you left. Now they seventeen, now they turn like you was before you left. You know what I'm saying? They turn like some of your guys and all that, but it's like do you worry about shit like that? Where it's like, I don't even know some of these little motherfuckers type of shit. Do you ever have those type of thoughts? You know what I'm saying? Hell no, bro. No. Just stay the fuck out my way. Okay. And you gonna be able to see your mama again. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bro. It's a difference. Like, it's a lot of shit I don't got to lose, bro. I'm mm -hmm. fucked up mentally, bro. You could, like I say, bro, you could think how you wanna think. You could feel how you wanna feel, bro. Oh, bro. It's a difference between me and these niggas, bro. Mm. A lot of niggas be thinking to themselves, like, man, I got a lot of shit to lose. I'm not thinking like that. It's that with me, you feel me? Mm. And I'm going to thug it to the end. I'm going to get that game to the end. I'm going to forever stay dangerous. Mm. Mm. That's, that's something about y'all generation. We grew up, we used to be like, be safe when we part with our guys. Y'all say stay dangerous. I say that in a couple interviews, but it's like that shit is a big difference, though. My mm -hmm. manager be saying that shit all the time. You see, when you talk to him, he said that, be mm -hmm. safe, bro. Yeah. He be saying that shit. Yeah. He tell me be safe. He, he probably about my age then, yeah. probably, yeah. He don't say stay dangerous, none of that mm -hmm. shit. You feel me? That's cool either way. Be safe or stay dangerous, bro. Mm -hmm. Either way. Yeah, it just go to say, it just go to show like how y'all generate. You know, y'all generation turned the world up on the drill shit. Y'all your whole generation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. on the real. So I right, so um with the with the with the Tay Savage thing, I seen him and J Man, they had spoke on a platform called Say Cheese, a big platform. They spoke on them bumping heads and, you know, 
throwing at each other at a point. And basically, they they spoke their story on, on his platform. But then now, they you see them going live together and getting money together. But they was potential ops or ops at a point. Can you see yourself ever get to that point where you getting some money with somebody that you considered an op at one point? Nah. At all? Like I told you, what's real could never be fake. Yeah. And what's cap, you know that shit fool. Oh, no bro, that's all I'm saying. And on top of that, like, J-Man, bro, he watched me grow up, bro. So you know J-Man. Hell yeah, yeah. bro. J-Man know me, bro. Yeah. He a tear you about me, bro. J-Man yeah. know me, bro. Yeah. J-Man watched me grow up, bro. He know. J-Man know. Yeah. So, I don't want, no, I don't want to tweet with you like that. <laughs> yeah, I got to just go chill. All right, mm -hmm. so... Uh, then so so how you feel about J Man like his rise or whatever because you know him or whatever y'all had like a relationship you see him doing his thing too yeah, it's like yeah, salute bro. or whatever or yeah yeah, yeah. Bro. I'm funny. like he funny as hell yeah. this shit hit different yeah yeah facts yeah, I'm funny all yeah. that man this the whoop <laughs> it is that yeah bro I'm funny he, he got everybody talking like that too because I be know saying it. that shit playing with motherfuckers in my prime like he be funny as hell I fuck with J Man. I'm gonna get up with J Man one of these days. Too, I've been in contact with him, but um, so, so um, do you do you hurt anything against him for like getting money with what he considered an op at a point? And I'm pretty sure you don't get along with the guy too based on stuff I seen. But it's like, do you you don't hold that against him? It's like just get your money. Yeah, no, yeah. get your money, bro. Yeah. Oh, bro. For sure. This shit, them trenches, is different from. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, you can never compel. So go ahead, run that shit up, get your money. Mm -hmm. I respect that. 